Greetings, Jedi. It is me, Mason, the Dark Side Warrior, and today is International Star Wars Day, also known as May the 4th Be With You. So, to celebrate this day, I'm going to be talking about a very unique unidentified TIE Fighter that was used by the Galactic Empire in Star Wars. And sure, there have been many other different fighters like the original TIE Fighter, the Interceptor, the Bomber, the Defender, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, all that. But today, we are going to be talking about the TIE MFP, also known as the Multifunction Platformed TIE Fighter. And since this is a very unique fighter that has not been seen by the Rebels used by the Empire, it's also never seen in canon or in Legends. But, in this case, since this is a first, I'm going to take a guess and say that this fighter is now part of Legends. So anyways, let's get to the analysis and breakdown of this fighter. The TIE MFP was a fighter that can perform various tasks that the other fighters couldn't, which had a huge impact on the Galactic Empire. This fighter has another cockpit at the rear of the ship for co-pilot gunning. The rear cockpit has rotating chin-mounted turbo lasers consisting of two barrels on one piece that protrude from the bottom of the rear cockpit, allowing the co-pilot to keep enemies firing from behind off their backs. The front of the ship still has the chin-mounted laser cannons, much like the standard ties, but has two sets of turbo lasers, one set on each pylon. In addition to the weapons, it also has modular units. The two modular units were mine deployment and scientific equipment, which were the only two modular units installed on the fighter. When using mine deployment, the TIE MFP can send out a series of mines from the ship onto the surface of a planet when entering the atmosphere and draw the enemies into a minefield. When the TIE MFP uses its scientific equipment, the fighter can perform spy or reconnaissance missions gathering information about their enemies and sending it back to their allies. However, with these modular units installed, it takes a toll on the fighter, which increases its mass and weight and acceleration and maneuverability. However, this was impossible to make the fighter a single fighter-to-fighter -fighter ship since it was so massive and was only used to fight bigger things like space stations and space cruisers. Another interesting thing about this fighter is that even though it is rare and highly unlikely to be seen by the enemies, except on rare occasions during combat, the TIE MFP can also carry a warhead launcher in the center of the ship, between the two cockpits. The warhead launcher was used as projectile attacks against space stations and large space cruisers during the battles. And since the TIE MFP was not a regular ship, the warhead launcher was not only used for just attacking bigger things, but again, it was never seen by any of the enemies in combat. The design of the TIE MFP mainly resembled the standard TIE fighter, but with extended wings and pylons that extended from the front cockpit to the rear cockpit. And while it may look like the TIE crawler, this makes one of the very interesting and unique fighters and had no problems for the Galactic Empire. And that is it. That is the breakdown of the TIE MFP. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think. And, um, maybe you can get some more information about this, uh, unique fighter. So, yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And as always, may the Force be with you.